Yorkville is a small town that has held the small town traditions, but now is growing into a very suburban-like community, rich in tradition, rich in support, and a high regard for quality education. I believe our school board has a vision that we should meet every student where they are. Let's go ahead and move out to the learning series so we have a little bit more space for our activities today. The environment that we have created is going to provide a greater avenue for teachers to teach and for students to learn. We built all of our common spaces at Yorkville High School to be collaborative. Any space in our hallway, fishbowls, in our library, in our learning stairs was all built with an open concept that students could learn anywhere. That was our goal. We wanted every space to be a learning space in our district. There's wireless infrastructure all over the building so you never drop signal and there's projectors so students can collaboratively work. So our job today is to create a character sketch for a villain that is somebody who's bad news but not completely unlikable. My students are so much more willing to collaborate when they're in a big space together because it feels fun. It feels like they're just sitting around their kitchen table or some couches at home. So I never have to encourage them to talk to each other or to gather in small groups. They just naturally do that. What's really great about this space is it's not just a place to sit. So it is a place that is technologically advanced and ready to go. The administration wanted to bring in new technology in the classroom, so we ended up putting in all new switching, wireless controllers, voice over IP system to help handle future needs. So as you can see, we're uh, in the process of the install. We'll still have to get uh, VMware onto this, this box. This one's pretty well ready. So this is a box from CDW that we're going to do all of our storage on? Yes. All right, so we're about 90% of the way complete. Teachers could walk around the room, they could wirelessly connect to their projectors. At the same time, since their laptops could flip into a tablet mode, as they're walking around, they could see if a student was struggling and walk over to them while not interrupting the teaching for the rest of the class. The STEM labs needed a lot more heavy-duty wiring, more access points, and a couple of projectors just to allow for more collaboration spaces. Project Lead the Way is a four-year curriculum that our students go through, primarily students who are interested in the engineering or pre-engineering avenue for a career pathway. Technology extensive from the coding aspects to the computer use and the Chromebook use to the LCD projectors to the CNC machines and the 3D printers. Our kids are building drones, they're building robots. I couldn't have done it without the school because I wouldn't have access to the software. Without this it'd be next to impossible to design all the parts and get all the exact measurements and 3D prints of all the, all the things I need. And really finding engagement and excitement in the learning. Students are experiencing greater autonomy in their learning. They feel that their voice has been heard, that the world that they understand outside of the school walls are now part of their education on a day-to-day -day basis. They find enjoyment, engagement, and fun in the opportunity to learn in such a technology-rich environment. From my standpoint, our students are more prepared when they get to the next level. We get to create things that most colleges don't even get to create. I love walking around this building. Our teachers are excited, our kids are excited, our parents are excited, and our kids are really proud to be Yorkville Foxes.